How can it actually come so far? We had so much power in the past. The king was dependent on us, financially, militarily, and administratively. We were involved in important decisions. What a magnificent setting. I adore the king. To serve him is an honor. I agree. He is my role model. Long live the king. If I'm being completely honest, it is nice here, but we, the nobility, are disempowered. The king alone rules. He names the officials, ministers, decides on war and peace, and is the sole legislator and supreme judge. He controls all taxes and revenues of the state. He offers us a luxurious life here, but we have no political power. The king is accountable only to God. Everything revolves around him, like the planets around the sun. Meanwhile, the nobles are financially dependent on the king. We do everything to prove ourselves how rich we are and spend a lot of money on events and parties for the king. Do not forget that the king has organized a ball for us. We will have fun all evening. The mirror robe alone looks so powerful. It is the image of luxury, wealth, and power. It is an honor to attend to the ball today. I am giving a party today in honor of the king. We, ha we have had delicacies brought from all over the world. It is an honor to go to war for the king and be a full-time soldier. We are all informed and well-equipped to fight for the fatherland and to serve and protect the king. What a successful day! I was able to shoot the best animals. We must be grateful to the king for giving us the right to hunt. Luckily, we do not belong to the third estate. Life on the royal court is so exciting and fun. We can be grateful to live here. I love to have fun. The king has given me a title, and I will serve him faithfully. What an enchanted play! Life here is so varied. Just the day before yesterday, the king arranged a ballad performance. Life here is a feast.